Hello everybody, it is weekly check-in day and we were just out of town for the week and so let's see how we did. Hello everyone, Marlene aka Snow Gardener 307 here with you today for our weekly check-in. We're also going to give Georgia some money. So let's go ahead and jump right in. As I mentioned in the intro, we did go out of town for hockey for the weekend and sinking funds saved our heinies. Before when I used to travel out of town for kids sports and stuff, it would just be the credit card baby. And this trip we were able to use all sinking fund money so no debt was incurred. Let's go ahead and get into our week. I've got my vanilla coke here my zero sugar my favorite one and i've got georgette sheet out as well for anybody that has not seen the newest fred jr and georgette savings tracker sheet make sure you go check that out and of course we have got some new no spend stickers that my sister-in-law from 307 design studio um designed for me well, let's go ahead and get our weekly check-in sheet out too because i did not do that like silly silly woman um, money transfer weekly check-in is on the back of this expense tracker i like to do my budget double-sided and so a lot of times they end up on the back side we're going to go ahead and check in and the week that we're checking in for day for today actually includes a day from last month, which is unusual. So 131 through 26 is when we're checking in for today. And as always, we have the same categories for our check-ins every single week. So we've got our food and our on-the-go food. And I want to make sure that I keep it the same every single month. And you'd think since I've been doing this for how many months that I would remember exactly the order. There we go. And then car. See, I would have done that wrong. And then we've got miscellaneous and fun and home. And then we have me and pay it forward as we squeeze it in there and unbudgeted. And I'm doing this later today than I normally planned on doing, um, but that's just how it goes. So the day that you're seeing this is the day that I'm filming it. And let's talk about our food category and our, and our cash dividers first. Let me go ahead and grab my wallet and we are gonna go ahead and get our cash dividers out. The only one that I'm not going to pull out is my bank divider. And there is a lot of money in my bank divider that I'm gonna head over to the ATM and deposit. Because as I said, this is how we paid for our weekend trip. And then we've got our grocery money and all of our dividers there. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with our food. And take a look at how we did there. So we've got our food on the go. And we've got our regular food. Our regular food, we started out with $600. Our on the go food, we started out with $400. Let's see what we did. Oh, I didn't write down transactions on my card, so we need to fix that. And I've got music playing in the background and I feel like it's kind of loud, so I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. So for our food, we give ourselves $150 a week, so we've got a total of 600, but I only had $150 in here. And I can tell you guys this, for this one, we have to go all the way back. So we had an expenditure for Ridley's, for $89, you probably can't even see that. There it is, Ridley's for $89. So let's go ahead and write that, and that was on 131. And we had Ridley's minus $89. And where is Mr. Cassio? There he is, because I throw him. So 600 minus 89 equals 511. And of course, if we take 450 off of that, it leaves 61. So I should have $61 left here, which I do. And so let me tell you guys how we're gonna do this check-in. I do things a little bit differently, and I hope I don't confuse you guys. Sometimes I confuse myself. This $61 right here is gonna go to transfer today. So we're gonna have $61 transfer today in the notes. And so we're gonna go ahead and put that we spent the full 150 even though, as you know, I still have this $61. The reason why it's the $61 with going to transfer today is not going to be in the food category anymore. And then we have our 
food on the go. Now I had rolled over $200 for last month because I knew that we were going to be going to Sam's Club and we went to Sam's Club on the 6th, so just yesterday, and we did really well, you guys. Let me go ahead and scoot you guys over so that the entire calendar, oh, there we go, is in, in the screen. So right here we've got Sam's Club, so we spent $200 out of the food on the go. We spent more than $200 at Sam's Club, which you guys will see if you watch my food haul tomorrow on my other channel, but $200 is what came out of the envelopes. So we spent $200, and we should have $200 left. So let's make sure that I didn't mess something up. And so we've got 50, 1, 50, $200. So we have still got some stockpile food, which is nice. And then also one thing I forgot to tell you guys was that I went ahead and grabbed out my $150 for my grocery divider right here to go ahead and put in to my wallet for this next coming week. I don't think that we're gonna need a lot of food this week. So my goal is to have a no spend food week. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that I can do it? We just went shopping this last week. We went to Sam's Club. We got some produce. We got some milk. We got some different things. So let's keep our fingers crossed. No spend for food this week. Then for car, we did not have any expenditures. The 31st, as you guys saw, there was a food expenditure and there was also a home expenditure. But if you look through here, there is no car expense. And the reason for this is I had a sinking fund as I talked about in the beginning of the video for my son's hockey uh, games that we went to in Casper. So we did fill up a couple times, but that came out of the hockey money. So we started out with $200 and we did not spend anything and we are ending with $200. So the car should have $200. Let's make sure 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, and two. So we are doing wonderful on that category. Then we've got my allowance. And remember when I said I didn't wanna get these mixed up, I still got them mixed up even with looking at the other one. So we've got my allowance. Now, I did spend money right here on some books. I will show you guys on the food haul tomorrow on the grocery haul what book I ended up getting for our book club. So check that out. I also bought a book for my husband. And so I spent $78 out of my allowance. I had rolled some money over because I knew that I was planning on doing some spending. So I started out with $155. And I spent 78 and I ended up with $77. So I'm really happy with that. There are some things on Amazon and that I want to get myself. Let's make sure we've got $77. 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Just some things that I've been adding into my cart. How many of you guys have a cart full of stuff on Amazon? Or am I the only one that does that? Um, a lot of times I don't buy it and I just kind of leave it in there, but it's kind of funny. Then our pay it forward, we added in $50 this month. We have not spent anything. So we started out with 108. Let's make sure we have 108. And as you guys know, we are getting close to the $2,000, the $2,000, the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'm going to start saving money for that. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, six, seven, and eight, 2,000 subscribers. And I think we're about 150 away, so we are getting there. And so right there, so pay it forward, we still have 108. Then we've got our miscellaneous and fun. Let's take a look. And so we started with 50. We should still have 50 because we did not spend any. So we didn't spend any there. My hubby and I thought about going to a movie while we were in Casper because we don't have a movie theater here. However, by the time my son's hockey game got over on Saturday night, we would have had to have went to the late movie and we were both pretty tired. So we decided not to do it. So we had 20, 40, 45, and 50. So still $50 in miscellaneous and fun. And so home, we had an expenditure out of home as well. We also had one on the 31st. So this category is gonna be a little bit confusing. So we are going back because of course we're checking in 
from the 31st. So on the 31st, we spent $8 at Ridley's. I can't remember on what, that left us $21. Then for my pay, we added in 50. Then we went to Home Depot while we were in Casper and spent $59. I got a new rug for the entryway and I also got a new toilet seat. So that was through and through home expenditures. So if you look right here, we added 50 and let's see, 59 plus eight and we added, we spent 67. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and do a little something strange. So we're gonna go ahead and put that we started out with 29 and we're gonna go ahead and put that we added 50 and that we spent 67. So we should have $12 left. So let's take a look, 10, 11, and 12. So home is good to go. And then for unbudgeted, you guys, we didn't have any unbudgeted expenses. That's with going to Home Depot. That's with me going to the bookstore. That's with us going to Sam's Club. We also went to Walmart and we have nothing unbudgeted. So a huge win there. And that included us going out to eat at some amazing restaurants. We had all of the money. So no unbudgeted for week one of our February. So two snaps for that. Now let's go ahead and talk about our no spins. So we have our goal right here of 15 no spins and the 31st you guys saw we did spend money so we can't worry about that. Let me go ahead and check off Home Depot. Let me go back to January calendar and check off both of those expenditures we just checked in for. And as I said these are the brand new no spin stickers and Shannon is working on all of the March ones so you guys can get those plenty early. So we had a no spend on the first and we have a no spend on the second. We have a no spend on the third, a no spend on the fourth, and we did spend money on the fifth and we did spend money on the sixth, but today is the seventh and I will be headed to work shortly so I know I'm not spending any money there. So we have five no spends so far. Look at how cute those are. Oh, I've got to show you guys. Let me show you this. I, I did a little short and so some of these look like they are torn off and it's because I was doing little videos. So we've got these no spends but check out these side hustle stickers for Georgette. And so my side hustle day that I get paid from Etsy is on Tuesdays. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And we're just gonna have to squeeze these side hustles in here, but they're so cute. And on the first, I didn't write down what my side hustle was. And on the first, of course, I've got all kinds of bills. So let's see, let me move this sticker. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and kind of cant that there for the no spend. And I just redid my nails so they're a little bit thick so I could not get a hold of that side hustle or that no spend. And we're going to just scooch Georgette right over here. And I'll write in my side hustle amount there. But so these are some of the newest creations from my sister-in-law, Shannon, and 307 Design Studio. Let's go ahead and talk about Georgette, shall we? Speaking of 307 Design Studio. Oh my gosh, I gotta put my stickers away. All right, so we've got Georgette's tracker right here. Let's take a look and see where she's at. So we are starting at 21.34 and we have some extra change to put in here. Let me grab my wallet because I've got still change on my wallet too. So I've got this pile of change right here and this is out of my purse. Um, and I don't uh, usually have change in my purse, but that was just sitting at the bottom. So I decided to go ahead and grab it out to give to Georgette. So. Let's go ahead and grab all these coins out of my wallet and let's see where she's sitting. I hope your guys' February is going amazing so far. So let's go ahead and add these coins in. The 
money that is going into Georgia is going to our Australia fund. And we are going to need a lot of pennies to make our way to Australia. But as we say on this channel, every single penny counts. So let's get all of these added in here. And so she's now at 25.29. Let's take 25.29 and subtract 21.34. That gives us $3.95. So this is what happens when you clean out your purse. And you guys, typically, I don't actually carry a purse. I do when we go out of town, but not on a day-to-day -day basis. So normally I just carry my wallet. So we are at $25.29. That's pretty dang good for week one of February. And last but not least, I wanna go ahead and read to you guys my calendar. And it's this calendar right up here. She has an amazing book, which is on my to read list. I've heard great things about it. It says, money is one of the most loaded topics out there. We love money, we hate money, we obsess over money, ignore money, resent money, hoard money, crave money, bad mouth money, Money is rife with so much desire and shame and weirdness. It's a wonder we can utter the word above a whisper, let alone go out and joyfully rake it in. So I thought that was so true. And it's many of you guys in the budgeting community know this, that so many people are so secretive about their budgets and um, may take shame in their debt or their um inability to pay bills depending on what's going on in their life. And so part of my goal with being part of the budgeting community on YouTube and Instagram, and I just want to let you guys know, I just started a TikTok channel too at Snow Gardener 307, is that, you know, let's take the shame out of money. Nobody should be ashamed of their financial situation. It's hard enough when you can't pay the bills to feel shame about it too. So just give that a quick thought you know, make sure that you're not ashamed, ashamed of your money. Don't be afraid to set some goals. Above all else, show kindness to others for their money. Whether they have a lot of money, whether they have a little money, whether they're behind on their bills, whether they have a ton of debt or a ton of money, who cares? Remember to share kindness and as always, remember to keep on smiling. Until I see you guys on Wednesday for our transfer today, I hope you guys have an amazing week. Talk to you soon. Bye.